Hello. The topic of my conference paper is conflict gold. Gold is a form of global currency and acts as a medium for exchange and criminal transactions. It provides reliable returns and easily smuggled and traded both virtually and physically. As gold is easily smuggled in high volumes, it is frequently used as a money laundering vehicle by armed groups, criminal networks, and corrupt actors who can then mask its origin by melting it with other gold. Conflict gold is located in conflict-affected and high-risk areas, where they may contribute directly or indirectly to armed conflict, including terrorist financing, human rights violations, and hinder economic and social development. Gold refineries, as well as the stakeholders who are engaged in dealing with gold, should respect human rights, observe applicable rules of international humanitarian law in regions of armed conflict, avoid contributing to conflict, and enhance transparent mineral supply chain. What are the available international regulations of that governs the trade in gold or that governs the trade in minerals. The OECD due diligence guidance for responsible supply chains of minerals from conflict affected and high risk areas is a de facto international standard. Since its adoption in May 2011, the guidance has become the leading industry standard for companies looking to live up to the expectations of the international community and customers on mineral supply chain transparency and integrity. The world's most influential gold market authority is the London Bullion Market Association, or as it is known by LBMA. It is a trade group that holds a significant of influence over the market. The major international banks that dominate gold trading trade only with metal from refineries the LBMA has accredited. The LBMA threatens to blacklist UAE and other centers. In exclusive story, Reuters stated that on November 6, 2020, the LBMA issued a letter addressing countries with large gold markets, laying out standards they must comply with on money laundering and where they source their gold or be blacklisted. The letter addressed China, Hong Kong, India, Japan, Russia, Singapore, South Africa, Switzerland, Turkey, UAE, the United Kingdom, and the United States. However, Reuters stated that serious issues of Dubai was the main driver to issue such, such an unprecedented and critical letter. Unless they shape up, the LPMA by early next year will say refiners cannot source from Dubai. LBMA, as the recipients to 1. Declare their support for the LPMA standards by December 11, 2020 and share an action plan for the implementation by the end of January if they have not been met. During 2018, the refineries of Dubai exported 212 tons of gold worth 13 billion US dollar, dollars to mainly Switzerland. There are more than 10 gold refineries in Dubai. None is certified by the LBMA and most lack any accreditation of their gold policies. The Financial Action Task Force, FATF, which sets standards and promotes the effective implementation of measures to combat money laundering and terrorist financing, has criticized the UAE's controls. Cash transactions are common in the UAE, and the FAT concluded last April that the UAE does not do enough to combat money laundering. A Reuters investigation last year found gold worth billions of dollars had been smuggled to Dubai from Africa, much of it mined by artisanal laborers who often work in difficult conditions. Once the gold has reached the UAE, it can then enter the global market. 
the Sentry Advisory Report. Sentry is an investigative and policy team that follows the dirty money connected to African war criminals and transnational war profiteers. They issued in November 2020 a report entitled Understanding Money Laundering Risks in the Conflict Gold Trade from East and Central Africa to Dubai and onward. They reported uh, on this topic in a very well written report concluding with four recommendations. These recommendations are available in my conference paper. I'm going to read the first recommendation just for the sake of time. It says the UAE government should close the regulatory loopholes that allow for trade in conflict and high-risk gold. The U.S. government, the European Union, EU, and Gold Industry Actors, such as the LPMA, should engage the UAE's authorities to require proof of payment for gold being imported into the country, require all gold refiners with a presence in the UAE to undergo independent third-party audits, and ban cash transactions for gold above small amounts. Last April, The Guardian published the following article. EY ordered to pay whistleblower 11 million US dollars in Dubai gold audit case. In one of the UK landmark rulings, court rules accountancy firm breached code of ethics and its dealings with the refiner. By the way, the refiner is Kaluti. It's named Kaluti, and it's a very well-known refinery in the Middle East. It is based in Dubai. The claim was brought by Amjad Rihan, an ex-EY partner, who revealed that silver-coated gold has been shipped from Morocco to avoid export restrictions and precious metal obtained from other countries such as Sudan, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Iran without due diligence. If I were you, I will underline due diligence. In his judgment, Kerr said, gold is used in the banking industry for investment purposes, in the jewelry industry, and in the electronics industry for manufacturing. It is recognized internationally as being among the conflict minerals attractive to criminals and terrorists because it is relatively easy to move and hold its value well. Commenting on Morocco, Transact on the Morocco transactions, Kerr, the judge, say, said, I'm quoting, quote, I accept as a fact that the defendants, UI, were responsible for suggesting to Caluti, the ODT, that it should draft its compliance report in a manner that masked the reality of the Morocco gold issue, removing the reference to Morocco and changing the coating of gold bars with silver, to documentary irregularities. I regard this as a professional misconduct. End quote. In summary, dealing with conflict gold is very serious business because conflict gold is used in money laundering and corruption. Dealing with gold requires using or complying with the relevant laws, rules, and regulations such as the LPMA and the OECD guidelines. Thank you.